Asthma is a chronic inflammatory disorder in the major pathways of the lungs, the bronchi and the bronchioles. When these guys get inflamed, it's called bronchoconstriction, since the bronchi constrict down and get tight. Unlike COPD, which is irreversible, resulting from long-term chronic damage, mainly to the alveoli and bronchi, like from years of smoking or other inhaled toxins. Asthma is very different in that it comes and goes with flare-ups in the form of asthma attacks. Now, these are reversible. Another key difference is that only the bronchi are involved here and not the alveoli, and it typically does not cause long-term damage. So think of the double A's. A for asthma, A for acute attacks that can come and go, typically triggered by anything that can irritate those sensitive bronchi, like cigarette smoke, pollen, dust, strenuous activity, and even cold weather. But we'll talk about the triggers later in a moment. Whatever the cause, during the asthma attack, two key things happen. First, the bronchi puff up with inflammation and get very tight. Again, this is called bronchoconstriction. And secondly, the body secretes excessive mucus from the goblet cells that line the respiratory tract, resulting in wet, mucus-filled lungs. Now, this is super deadly since the respiratory tract gets so constricted, closing off any and all oxygen to the alveoli. This means no oxygen in, so we get decreased inhalation. And no CO2, that carbon dioxide, out, resulting in air trapping, making it hard to exhale. Now, this leads to acidosis in the body, which could lead to deadly respiratory failure. Now, in terms of the signs and symptoms, we use the acronym ASTHMA. And a little tip here, focus on the highlighted ones below, since these were the most tested out of five different exam question banks. So A is for accessory muscle use due to the increased work of trying to breathe. And a key critical sign here is paradoxical breathing. Write that one down. It's very deadly. This indicates diaphragm muscle fatigue. And a little NCLEX tip here. Focus on the most deadly signs since these are the most tested signs. S is for shortness of breath and dyspnea, that difficulty breathing. And a critical sign here is single word dyspnea. T is for tight chest and tachypnea, that fast respiratory rate. So just think about it here. Air trapping in those inflamed lungs lead to tachypnea, a rapid respiratory rate. You're unable to take a full deep breath. H is for high-pitched wheezing, probably the most classic sign of an asthma attack. Hey everyone, Nurse Mike here from SimpleNursing.com. Did you get your beautifully handcrafted study guide bundle yet? It highlights the key points and memory tricks in this video. Plus, get 900 more videos not here on YouTube, all neatly organized in the playlist, along with thousands of practice questions written by actual NCLEX writers. So don't be scared, be prepared. Try it free today. Visit SimpleNursing.com. It sounds like a whistle due to that inflammation causing narrowed airways sounding a lot like this. M is for minimal diminished breath sounds. Now, this next part you need to write down. The key signs for deadly respiratory failure and deadly status asthmaticus, just think of the three A's here. So our first A is for absent breath sounds. This is known as a silent chest. Now, this is priority. Write this down. On exams and the boards, if your patient suddenly stops wheezing during an asthma attack, this is not a good sign. The NCLEX will not suddenly cure your patient for you. So exams won't give you a cured patient. This typically means that the lungs are puffed up so much and get so tight that it completely cuts off all oxygen and airflow, leading to the last two A's here, acidosis, that CO2 retention, and air trapping. So we get prolonged exhalation. Write that down. Prolonged exhalation. Now, don't get tricked here. Not prolonged inhalation. We see the key term, once again, prolonged exhalation, breathing out. So just think of the patho here. We have inflamed lungs, right? So we can't get oxygen in, 
We have short inhalation, not prolonged. And you can't get CO2, that carbon dioxide, out. So the key term, prolonged or longer exhalation, that air exiting the body. So in result, CO2 builds up in the body, causing acidosis from that carbon diacid, that carbon dioxide. All right, that wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take your quiz and download the study guides. And also feel free to share the love, share with a classmate and even your instructor. See you guys in the next videos.